Hello, this is James. So today, or tonight rather, we have Le Nusterfau, the Dread Vampire. And the Dread Vampire is not Scarlet Scourge. It is not Vamp Chant. Love you, honey. It is not Vampire Grace. It is, in fact, Vampire Grimson. Vampire Grimson is the MVP of the Vampire's deck. If you're resetting for vampire cards, you're going to reset for your familiars, and but you're going to make sure you get three of this normal, because he protects himself against Treacherous Trample, against Flash, the Forbidden Spell, against Super Rush. If a monster you control will be destroyed by battle or opponent's card effect, you can pay a thousand LP for each monster that would be destroyed. Instead, at the end of the battle phase, if this card destroyed a monster by battle, you can special summon them from the graveyards. To your field and I can even prove it with the card art so look at this look at this glorious card art for vampire kingdom a full lovely moon and in the light of this scarlet moon we have vamp chan ordering well me around her room okay and we have vampire grimson guarding the castle okay holding down the fort doing the work to keep this vile undead empire together. Our other hard worker for this vampire deck is Samurai Skull. When he's normal summoned, you can throw a zombie to the graveyard, and if it's removed from the field by an opponent's card effect, and that's that's banishing with Amazonas Ambush, that's Treacherous Trap Hole, that's Super Rush, that's Flash Seal the Forbidden Spell, you can Special summon one level four lower zombie type monster from your deck, except Z vampire skull, uh, except samurai skull, and that is, that is really really good because we have a lot of oh and dompa, we have a lot of removal in the game. So samurai skull, even though it's an old card, is still going to be getting us that good value. All right, for the rest of our deck, we have one scarlet scourge. You know what? If I were to remake this deck, I'd cut Scourge and I'd do two Grimson. That's how good he is. And that's how kind of a pain in the butt uh, Scourge is. Uh, Scour Scourge, when he's summoned, you pay a thousand LP, target one vampire in your graveyard and special summon it, but it can't attack. And that's only good if then you can also get out a Vampire Grace and then go for the OTK. But um, yeah, if you're resetting for vampires, don't reset for Scourge. Reset for the familiars. Uh, when they're in the graveyard, they have a special summon effect and they let you get off a search. So between uh, Skull and the familiars, well, I guess this one's a retainer, the bat's a familiar. You have the, the search power of a little more than one Amazonist princess. Our main, our main back row, our back row is focused on getting out the vampire kingdom. So vampire takeover, if we don't, if all we have are zombies and we don't have a field spell, we can activate the field spell directly from our deck and special summon a, a vampire. Now, once we have the field spell out, it, all the other takeovers aren't good anymore, but they are still vampire cards. They, they can still be used for discarding for our familiars. And then with Vampire Kingdom, we can combo Chain Destruction. So Chain Destruction lets us... When a monster is normal summoned, we can kill all the copies of that monster in your opponent's hand and graveyard because everybody, everything is 2,000 or less attack. And then, when once we do that, Vampire Kingdom, when that effect is activated, you can destroy a target on the field. And that's also why we have one copy of Vampire Grace. So she just has that once per turn. Once Vampire Grimson has done the hard work and we successfully have our field spell out, then we can use Chain Destruction, we can use Vampire Grace, we can clear up the opponent's field, and we can go for that sweet beatdown. And then we also have one copy of Interplanetary Purply Thorny Dragon, because he's really good. It's, 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 this, this card is probably has the most life outside of, um, outside of the excitement of vampires and insectors. Because whenever anything's destroyed, you just get a you just get a, a monster back, and likely a monster with a better attack value. Now, do vampires beat for hires? They do not. Uh, vampires don't have anything that works quite as fast 
as the as the fur hires deck. But it is fun, and we are going to enjoy some replays. All right, we're going second against that Mokuba Kaiba. And we open that sweet combo. We got Vampire Takeover and Grimson and the Chain Destruction. Uh, skull into Vampire Grace, and then we're gonna go Vampire's Domain, and we're gonna tribute Skull for Grimson, and then we're gonna go for the beatdown to get that good damage. But there's a widespread ruin. What does Grimson do? Grimson holds down the fort and attacks for 2300 damage, and Vampire's Domain, also featuring Grimson, pays for the activation. Now, let's go into a Vampire Kingdom, and we get the Special Summon of Grace, and then as soon as we see this merge route, we're gonna hit it with that Chain Destruction, but my boy Mokuba only has one merge route. It's so un- that's so against type for Noble Knights. Anyway, uh, we don't get to destroy anything, and we don't activate the, uh, the Vampire Kingdom effect. He goes for the Destroy against the Vampire Grace, and again, Grimson Proves the worth. Grimson protects his liege. Vampire Grace sends a spell card, and then we finally get the activation of Vampire Kingdom. We get to we get to search, we get to zombie search Vamp Chan and clear the back row, wall of the daddy, that's a good get. And we normal summon and the scoop from the Mokuba. Are we going second against the Weevil? Draw, draw, draw. Okay, so here's our purpley thorny dragon and a chain destruction, and we already have Vampire Kingdom in our hand. And it's in Zectors. This will be good. So, we go Samurai Skull, it's just like Red Eyes. Except like Red Eyes, but sexier. Uh, and then we get we go into a wall of the daddy. Samurai Skull is destroyed. An interplanetary purpley thorny dragon takes his place, a bigger batter monster with less resistance because there's no back row, totally clearing the uh, the insectors. And then as soon as he goes into his hopper, we want to prevent any funny business. We want to go chain destruction against the hopper, kills his hand, and vampire kingdom clears his field, and we even search our retainer. Look at this combo! Look at it! All right, so. And uh, let's go Samurai Skull. Very good. And that's game. That's game on the board. But if you had a Karibo, we could special summon the re retainer. All right, we're going first against the Mokuba. And we got Grimson, we got Doggo, we got Grace, and we have Chain Destruction. We're going to go Doggo in defense position because we actually want our familiars in the graveyard. Um, because that's how they get their effects. Okay, so it's aliens, and there's our... There's our vampire takeover. Really want to see that field spell. Special summon. Alright. And then we're going to go vampire's domain, because we're getting greedy for the life points. We're going to go beat down, and we're, we're just going to have to risk the, uh, the ace up combination. Call is bluff. Well, because we also didn't see any delays. Vampire's Domain gains the life points, and we special summon the alien kit. Now, this actually inactivates Vampire Takeover because we can only have zombie types for Takeover to be able to be activated. All right, so we, we have a set, and summons a monster in the attacking position. Definitely does not have a sub combination, but in case he does, we're gonna crash. But oh no, Treacherous Trap Hole Grimson, protect this house. And we get to muscle through that treacherous, and Alien Kid gets to betray, and we eat- Oh, we even have more life points than when we started, thanks to, uh, Vampire's Domain. Okay, draws nothing, and the scoop. Are right, we going second against an Aster Phoenix, and this one, this is more of- this is more like of a, a blooper reel type of deal. This kind of thing only happens when the cards are still new and fresh, but still, everybody. Read the cards. Alright, so we're gonna set the takeover. We're gonna go Samurai Skull and we're gonna search that Vamp Chan because I got eyes for stealing the Anki. That's what I'm thinking about with this Vamp Chan. 
Alright, and then we direct attack with the Samurai Skull. Okay, so we go Hey Trunade. We're gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and go Vampire Takeover, get the value. Uh, Vampire Kingdom. Okay, so now Kingdom is on the field. And we get, we, and, and it also lets us special summon Vamp Chan. Alright, now, take a look. Vion activates its effect, sends Malicious to the graveyard. This pops Vampire Kingdom for us. So Vampire Kingdom, and, and also, it's mandatory. You must destroy. You have to do it. Uh, so we have to destroy the Vion, but he recovers a little bit. He gets the special summon as Malicious, so pretty good. And then he's gonna go Polymerization into a Dangerous. Okay, and then here I'm fearing for Vamp Chan, but my boy is not reading the cards. My boy is not activating his toggle. What's going on here? Uh, Samurai Skull pumped up by 500 during damage calculation only. Gets a dangerous kill. Opponent scoops out of pure shame. All right, here we're going second against that Yami Bakura. And we're gonna see that Grimson again. Grimson, Vampire MVP. All right, so we have Domain, we have Vamp Chan, we have uh, Doggo and it's Gear Gear. So we're gonna we're gonna lead off the Samurai Skull. Gonna get chaliced. Wise, wise decision. Uh, Vamp Chan is pretty useless right now because of uh, well, all the gears are smaller than than she is, so she can't give the good suck. She only gives the good suck to big things. Uh, you know what? When we get synchros and it's all big monsters all the time. We'll make a we'll make a fun Vamp Chan rogue deck, but for now, it's all about that Grimson. All right, so we're gonna go Vampire's Domain. We're gonna normal summon our uh, Vampire Retainer, and we're gonna get cursed. That's fine. That's good. Okay, so then now we're gonna hit this attack with gear for no reason other than that it makes me happy. So. Anchor Gear is going to flip up, he's going to destroy one monster, destroys the Samurai Skull, but since he destroyed it by an effect, we get to search a, a zombie, and we're going to search our other special summon card. Alright. And Vampire Familiar, since it was special summon, we're going we're gonna to search Vampire Grimson, because Grimson protects against the auto-destroy of the Anchor Gear. And we're not going to take any life point damage this turn. So, both familiars down, serving their purpose, serving their lord. Uh, we're going to go retainer, so that, so again, can't use Vamp Chan, send her to the graveyard. Retainer gets out, and then he's going to search Vampire Takeover. And then we're going to get a normal summon of this Vampire Skull, and we're going to send Scourge to the graveyard. Vampire's Domain activates and we tribute for that Grimson and now now we're pretty much safe because Grimson no matter how many anchor gears he flips we can protect with Grimson and he's even gonna do he's even gonna do a little bit of damage here and we're gonna recover a little bit of life points so we can protect both monsters yeah Grimson and we even get the attacker gear we now vampire takeover is stuck but we don't really need it because there's nothing that Gear Gears can do with no monsters and two cards. So, that's Vampires, that's Grimson. Take it, mmm. Representing the normals, representing the free to play, and I do promise, Vamp Chan deck at some point. Thank you for watching.